So yes guys, good afternoon. Now we've got an absolutely gorgeous day ahead of us and there is something that I need to do to the MX-5 to finalize the looks of this car. This will literally be the, the, the last and final thing we do to the like appearance of this car and that's pretty mad to say that we've completed the exterior now it's just all about performance and power etc etc but you might be wondering where the mx5 has actually been now it's been away at top marks big shout out to top marks these guys what they do is absolutely insane um so if you guys need any vehicle repair need any modifications as in body if you've got a show car and you need it to look as in amazing give it to top marks trust me all their links are in the description so let me just run over what we've had done to the mx5 i don't think you understand how gassed i get when i actually get out and and drive this car like there's just some feeling with it literally this car except the bonnet and the boot lid has had a complete full respray i got it back from top marks and i left it with them to do the hard top as you guys know we went and picked this up from leeds quite a while ago when i first got the car it was one of the first things i actually did to the mx5 uh, and it was a little bit battered there's a couple of dings down here where it's been on and off and stuff like that top marks have sorted that out and it's absolutely fresh as a daisy there is not a single swirl mark on this car like i say except the bonnet and the boot i think a cat or something jumped up at the car here and bloody scratched it but um i will be getting a carbon boot lid i think uh, yeah um what else did they do so there was a tiny little bit like a stone chip that started turning into a rust bubble there he's gone around the whole arch and sort of that well so this rear quarter now he has um as you can see there is no longer a aerial like for the hole for the antenna he's welded that up filled it smoothed it and repainted it and then he said to me this is how much of a perfectionist mark is he said i can't let you have the car back i was like why he's like because the door doesn't match now because i've done the rear quarter and everything the doors doesn't match so he did the door so that panel got done that panel got done that panel got done the roof's been done the body kit is obviously freshly painted um, and all this side got done when i decided to stop drifting and liam twat me so the final piece of the of the of the visual puzzle that i don't think many people have actually clocked onto these bad boys the brake calipers are just old looking a little bit worse for wear and I think we need to get them sorted. Also, I have tried um, these wheel nuts. I bought these wheel nuts because the ones I ordered before have gone like that, and that is a no for me. I'm not having rust stripping out when it's raining and shit like that. It's just not, not a bit of me. So I did order these just from eBay, guys. No sponsor or anything. Um, tuna lug nuts, and they are cold forged steel, so they do not seep out like rust or anything like that so yeah very good get down with his moose juice cap forgot my 90 degree bend oh. so uh, yeah that is the plan of action today we're throwing it back we're doing a sick little driveway mod that changes the appearance of your car anyone can do this and i think calipers on a car just make it that little bit because when the wheel's spinning at higher speeds you almost can't see the wheel and you can just see a nice caliper sat behind it so we're going to get busy with that we have got this spray i got this from work it's like one pound something a tin i think it's about seven eight quid at halford so yeah um just some silver wheel paint we are going silver because i want to match the i don't know what it is with me i did it with the civic i had the the cosmic gray calipers that ac alloys did they were amazing and i just like the bodywork matching the calipers so yeah we're doing silver we're going for we're going for some silver so i'm going to get the body kit off well the side skirts at least get the car in the air and uh we're going to start prepping these uh these calipers now andy i hope you're not watching this video because you're going to tell me how many mistakes i've made and how i should have done it a different way i'm sorry mate you're the you're, you're the man for this and i should have brought it to you there we go i've said it in advance and we've got three special guests chilling Okay, so I am going to be spraying, uh, sanding these hubs down and spraying the hubs as well, just to make everything look 
uh, that little bit better because I want to just I, I want to just go that extra bit with this car uh, with everything to do with it but these calipers aren't too big um, these should be pretty easy to do so I'm gonna start sanding them all down and I'll mask them off and uh, yeah we'll uh, start painting after that all right so just give it a quick sand down with one of these pads just to rough it up a little bit these don't need to be perfect i'm not going to take my time and just take unnecessary time to do these because in the end we are getting a big brake kit for this car because we are generally going to need it with the plans i've got so yeah i'll just give it a quick rough up with a um, little sanding pad uh, i'm now going to rough all this up start masking off spray the hub and um yeah then get get masking around the uh, the caliper so again very quick very last minute don't need to be perfect but the caliper i know for a fact andy's going to comment on this and, and and all be thinking it but what andy does when he does his calipers is actually tape off all around here um which fair play to him if you've got the patience for that but i'll be end up, I'll, I'll end up changing these brake pads anyway so it's just going to all be silver not massive issue for me personally so uh, yeah i'm going to start spraying i'm going to just mask the rest of the car off because uh, i don't want to get any overspray on it and then we're going to get this caliper looking shiny Okay, so I'm just letting the primer dry on the uh, front ones. I'm gonna start on the back ones. I'm not gonna film it all because I don't wanna bore you with this. You know, you guys know how to paint calipers. But after this video, I wanna go over a few things uh, and, and go for a few updates on the MX-5. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and I'll pick the camera up when I start doing the silver on the front. All right, let's, uh, let's give it a coat of silver, see what this looks like. Okay, so I decided just to put the camera down. You guys have seen people spray calipers on a car. Now uh, we are done, and I am very happy with them. They do look, uh, they do look very, very good. Match the car nicely, and they just look a lot better than what the uh, what the old tatty, old one, old tatty, old calipers look like. So I'm very happy with them. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go um, get the car, drive it to an industrial estate, get some pictures, and then we're going to have a little talk and uh, wrap this video up. So boom, there you go. Calipers all sorted for now until we get a big brake kit, which I will want them calipers in silver as well. So yeah, that's something in the future. What I'll do for now, once we go um, turbo without forging the engine, so around two to 250 horsepower, probably just upgrade the pads and discs to maybe some drilled and grooved or something something just to make sure the car does stop because the last thing i want to do is fly it for a fucking wall or something um and then when we forge the engine and go for stupid power obviously we'll get the big brake kit um we are going down to motion motorsport in a few months time and getting the whole car under sealed rust protected and, and all stripped back motion motorsport does that to the next level so that will be something that's coming as well but what I wanted to do is just come out with the car pretty much uh, and go over a couple of the plans because this is kind of the last mod video uh, until we do go down to TDI for the turbo, which is literally in two weeks, guys. We're getting the car turboed on the 13th. That's the day I'm dropping it off and it can't come quick enough. It cannot come quick enough. Trust me, I am absolutely, I can't wait. I physically cannot wait. Like, oh man, it's gonna be so sick. So I thought I'd quickly take this time before we do wrap this video up just to go over a couple of the plans and a couple of the trick bits that we are going to have on the car. Now I think the turbo manifold is actually coming from America. Um, it's all in the works at the minute where we're getting each bit from but uh, all I know is we're going to have a dirty screamer pipe coming out the bonnet just there so I can see all the flames while I'm, uh, while I'm driving. I'm pretty sure TDI North will be doing me a custom mid pipe as well because I do need one of them. Ben is very kindly knocking me up a better down pipe and a, a, a big bore down pipe, um, courtesy of TDI North, of course. And um, yeah, guys, it's going to be uh, it's going to be savage. <laughs> it's going to be savage. Now I'm going to wrap this video up. 
uh, I just thought I'd make this little cheeky video on the driveway doing a couple of bits once again uh, I'm gonna go around this industrial estate get some pictures of the cars so go check out my Instagram as well I do this quite often just bring my cars out to uh, get some pictures and yeah as always if you did enjoy the video please do not forget to like to comment and to subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace